Hello, Trail Freak here, coming at you from uh, Bonita Lakes Park, Meridian, Mississippi. These are our, the home, my home trails out here, all through out there. Got some very awesome single track here. Yeah, I haven't been out here in a while, so come out here to do a little update on my carbon bike and show you how it's, which, you know, it's been a year. I just want to show you what happened to it and uh, how it's held up. Going back a year, I built this thing. Uh, all from AliExpress. All the parts came from AliExpress. And the carbon frame, hardtail, it was $389, I believe. And that thing has held up very well. I'm surprised. Uh, let's go over the things that didn't last first of all I got an old seat on here I had a carbon seat on here that didn't last which was my fault I was trying to do a wheelie in a parking lot and I was clipped in which was stupid and the seat hit the seat hit the uh, I was on asphalt and it cracked it and it lasted half the race I was in. You go back and check the video, uh, it shows where I lost my seat. Uh, and the cranks. I had carbon cranks on here. And the same day I lost my seat, it's the same day I lost my cranks. And I think, if I remember right, I said in when I first put this bike back together, or first built it, I think I said that the cranks would probably be the first thing to go. And technically it was, because the seat was my fault. I think that seat would have lasted a whole lot longer than it did. But the cranks is the only thing that's actually broke. Besides the seat, like I said. But everything else, like the handlebars, the handlebars has held up very well. Had no problems with the handlebars. Uh, the brakes, these brake rotors are pretty cool. I mean, you can't see it because the sunlight's not very well but these rotors are pretty nice got that uh oil slit craze this is before the oil slit got big when i got these and i had for the calipers i had brakes called zoom or something like that they were purple tried to match the motif of the bike but the front brake did good it's the rear brake i was having problems with it was they would fade and would not stop at all so I replaced those with some parts off some other bikes. I got Tektro on there right now. Those work pretty good. And I didn't run my cable through the, through the frame like I should because I didn't want to break the seal of that. Uh, I didn't want to re-bleed those. So I just left on outside. I'm getting cold. Anyway, the wheels, the wheels, have done really well they're carbon also but the last race i was in the hub failed i can still pedal a little bit but it's it's the the paws are messed up on the inside i took it apart and looked at it and the paws are very messed up so i gotta get the next upgrade i do is going to be the hubs i'm gonna get some new hubs uh see what else on the seat post seat post is carbon that held up real well oh oh yeah the fork I had a Yunding fork on here and it did real well uh, and I could still use it and it's pretty light it's lighter than the one I got on here now I could still use it but the anodizing was wearing off the one of the stanchions it's like like one of the stanchions the anno was wearing off of it so, you know, I guess it was leaking oil and stuff right there. The seal, I guess the seal went bad. Anyway, yeah, I got these, this rock shot. It's a spring fork and it's pretty heavy. I don't like it, but it, it was getting me through the season. Uh, pedals, when I first started clipping in, I got these fun pedals. They're flat on one side and, and clip on the other. I like those, they're pretty nice. I had some Shimano just clip pedals 
for a while but I decided to put these back on there and it feels a little better to me especially if I just want to jump on it and ride I don't have to change shoes and all that stuff I think the most expensive parts I got on here is like the XT derailleur and that uh, cassette that cassette's a Zito I don't know how you pronounce that but Z-T-T-O I love their I love their uh, cassettes they got some that's all I use on my bikes is that I got that on my trail bike but that one right there was that's a 1150 and this that's held up real well and I could probably get another another season out of that so it's, it's held up real well and that chain uh, I can't remember the brand of that chain but it's got that oil slick look and it's held up real well I also got the carbon bottle cages the tires these are cheap tires I got I think I got these like 12 or 15 bucks a piece from a Chinese site and they've held up pretty good they're heavy though they're not very light I think the last time I weighed this thing the first time I weighed it I think it was just under 25 pounds and after I had to change out some of these parts I think it jumped up to 27 which that's pretty that's stupid heavy for a carbon bike especially a hardtail so I want to try to get this thing down at least 21 23 between there and I think I can do that running lighter tires running uh, a lighter fork I may go rigid on a fork that would lighten it up a lot but I'm not sure I don't know if I'm take it that far but the tires the fork and the cranks I might can find a little bit lighter cranks these cranks these are awesome cranks for the price uh, it's a knockoff of the XT these are the Mijon brand I don't know what they are but they're all similar they got different branding on them but they're all made the same it's like an XT style and it's pretty good setup I like it it has lasted with my big butt on it so pretty good oh uh, dang I don't know what else to go over I think I went over everything I think if I didn't go over everything I went over the brakes I had to change I changed the brakes out from the zoom the handlebar and the stem and all that stuff is held up pretty good overall I got I have got my money's worth out of it I think I built it for just under a thousand bucks with everything uh, there's a few things I could have probably not have spent as much money on I think that cassette was one of the mo more expensive items the derailleur was one of the more expensive items as far as you know brand names and stuff but uh and the cranks the cranks went too I mean they were cheap for carbon and that's why they failed they were cheap carbon they wouldn't build very well but other than that I, I have had good luck with this thing and I plan to do some upgrades to it and during this off off little break I got I'm going to break it down I gotta find I gotta get some hubs I got some hubs in mind I'm gonna do a unboxing of whenever I get them and uh, I think I'm gonna paint this thing Give it a little coat of paint just to be different so stay tuned for that stuff and so if you got any questions about my Chinese carbon XC build uh, leave, leave a question in the comments uh, I answer the best I can and if there's anything else you want to know that I didn't cover I hope I covered everything just uh just let me know so thanks for watching just ride man we'll see you next time